and format paintbrush the skinny column and put that over here i want to reformat these cells to what i would like to see it as in this table right clicking on them format those cells i'm going to make them currency brackets with the red and no decimals and okay so we're basically going to make a kind of a payroll register here that we can use to build our journal entry imagining we're paying two employees those two employees adam hamilton and eric smith so let's make this one a little bit larger the cell and we're going to call this a payroll ledger which i'll put down here i'll put the headers foot first payroll ledger i'm going to make these all bold too i'm going to make everything bold Make everything bold. I only work bold. I'm a bold worker. Super bold. Gross pay. Notice I'm, gonna, I'm not going to use the alignment tab over or, or the wrapping. I'm going to put two different rows when I need two different rows here so that I don't make it like a wide row that might mess things up to the left and the right. If you're not inserting a table, I think that's the better way to go oftentimes. The FIT, federal income tax. We're going to have social security, social, that's not how you spell it. Social, you could read it, couldn't you? You knew what it meant. Security, Medicare, Medicare, and then net income. Okay, and then let's do some bolding over here. Do some formatting alignment. Let's make this centered. Let's make it black and white for our header. Let's make this one black and white too. And then we're going to have our two employees, which are going to be Adam Hamilton. I'm not sure if that's how you spell it, but that's going to be it. Then we're going to say how much he gets paid on a monthly basis. So we're going to assume we're paying monthly. Remember, your payroll periods could be monthly, weekly, semi-monthly, bi-weekly are the common payroll periods. And so we're going to say monthly here to go with it so we don't have to run payroll multiple different times in our practice problem. And we're going to say that he gets paid salary of 4583. So we're going to say 4583 on the salaried pay. And then we got to think about what the withholdings will be. So we got FIT, Social Security, and Medicare. These are just going to be the federal withholdings. Note, you could have other options.